Alright, this is just a quick update on my progress on my uh, my budget Logan's Run costume. Um, basically what I ended up doing is I purchased the sweater, I guess it's kind of a cotton uh, shirt sweater kind of a, a, a look-alike replica, not really a replica of the Logan's Run um, costume. Uh, it just happens to be black with the, it's kind of a dove gray uh, stripe running across the chest. And I thought, well, you know, that's close enough for a, uh, a costume, uh, basically. And it does uh, basically have the stripe uh, all the way to the armpits, um, which uh, I think the real one does. Um, I'm not sure about the width so much, but I think uh, based on my measurements, and I, I went with the the triangles or the little, uh, I guess the quilting, um, I counted roughly approximately eight uh, across the chest with two, uh, one just above the other, of course, and I ended up sewing uh, the uh, the, the lines in here to get the triangles so basically um, this is uh, has that quilted pattern look to it and it is sewn with the same I guess the dove gray um, kind of a, a thread to, to match so basically that was a modified sweater I cut the sleeves off to give the uh, the look of the two-piece tunic with a black uh, long sleeve pullover so uh, you know it's again it's not authentic or anything but um, it uh, it does have the look again it's a black t-shirt with long sleeves um, this is the shirt from Amazon it's the kind of the shirt slash sweater cotton uh, over over shirt uh, anyway so I cut the sleeves off both sides uh, this here is a uh, dicky uh, what they call it's a kind of a fake uh, collar here. Um, basically I'm getting another version maybe a little bit closer to the color here. This one's a little little light too light right at this moment but uh, I'm going for one that's more of a, a the gray uh, similar to here so uh, but basically yeah this is just a, uh, uh, what they call a dickie. Uh, of course it has the shirt, it has the tunic. I've got my belt that I made myself of course uh, it's made from the the strapping, the two-inch strapping. I made the uh, the uh, I guess they call this um, uh, piping uh, with the cloth sewn over with the rubber uh, 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 tubing uh, under there. It's like surgical tubing, rubber surgical tubing. Of course, I got my eight uh, pellets. These are my uh, uh, bullet slash pellets uh, that again that I made uh, uh, on my 3D printer, and I've got my. Uh, my Logan's Run flame pistol here. This is the uh, LED version with a glow plug, and then you pull the trigger, and of course it has the the blue. And basically, there's actually four LEDs. It's really bright. Uh, instead of just one single, it's got four in there, so you can actually see a good a good look all the way around. The LEDs actually reflect off that center tube there to give it a really bright uh, flash to it. So anyway, yeah. So that's my. Uh, my LED version. This also one just happens to shoot uh, rubber bands, but uh, I also wanted to have a, an LED version built into it. So, so that is that. And of course, I got my follower. It has the clip here. This clip uh, actually clips into this collapsible screen. This will be a backlit screen. It's slightly collapsible so that it literally will hang face in as it shows in the in the movie that it is hung uh, face in and it clamps on to the belt. Um, the, the end here does light up. Uh, I went with the more white look because I was thinking it's not necessarily a flashlight but more of a scanning uh, device and the next thing I'll add is of course the LEDs here and then these this little bar here will be functional to press the button and it will actually uh, fire off uh, the uh, uh, kind of this uh, protective uh, thing here this is actually a stun gun built into the follower so in case they their weapon themselves gets um, something happens to it and they no longer have self-defense uh, this will actually uh, produce a spark it is a stun type uh, gun uh, electronics and uh, the, elect the light itself the the top part here this is removable and uh, it's actually uh, held on with magnets uh, and powered up through the magnet so if I try to go backwards it won't light up the light is actually built uh, right into the uh, um, the unit itself here so it's interchangeable um, so you can stick that on there like that it literally lines itself up and then I press the button and it uh, it does function so anyway I just wanted to share that with you and and 
uh, keep you updated on what I'm doing so far but again the lights next here the two switches will actually fire off the stun uh, gun effect there um, got my uh, my uh, uh, I guess rubber band shooter LED uh, uh, blaster here as well as my costume uh, and of course a pair of black slacks don't even have to have any pants made just get a nice pair of uh, black slacks uh, the shirt uh, was basically from Amazon I sewed in the the quilting here myself uh, to give that look uh, that you see on Logan's Run and of course a dickie cut off the sleeves uh, to give that tunic two-part uh, tunic look so anyway that's it just wanted to share that with everyone and have a good day